Hey guys, it's Chi Chi and this is another installment of the Pharmacy School series. Applying into Pharmacy School, getting into Pharmacy School, and yeah, that's pretty much it with Chi Chi Doll. So my name is Chi Chi and today you're going to be watching a video and it's going to be all about Pharmacy School. Um, I know I get a lot of questions on my other videos, so hopefully if you haven't seen the first series, um, which are the first couple videos that I've done, I'll post them down below so you guys can see it. <clears throat> But yes, so this video is going to be the aftermath after the pharmacy school interviews. What to expect, how sh um, quick you should expect to hear and stuff like that. And just preparing yourself going forward. Now, <clears throat> depending on now, if you haven't seen my other video, I talked about my pharmacy school interviews experience. And if you haven't seen it, um, I'll link the video down below so you guys can check it out. So this is after the pharmacy school interviews. Generally what happens is after that, I'm pretty sure um, when you go on pharmacy school interviews, depending on how early or how late you applied, I applied a little bit early, but I did not do early decision for any of the schools I applied to. Um, you may hear back earlier or um, later. So for me, I did my interviews in November of 20, um, 2014 and I went to two different schools. I will not be stating the schools that that went to but um, I did go to two schools um, I heard relatively quick um, and I think probably it's because um, I'm early on in a cycle not to say that if you are later on the cycle you hear back farther along but it just depends on the school so for both schools I think I was like the first cycle of interviews so that was kind of like a blessing to me and I thank God <laughs> and um, yeah so for me, I heard back from my first pharmacy school probably in about like a week and a half. And I think the other school I heard back, let's say about a month. Um, don't ask me why they were so varied because to be honest, I went to both of those interviews in the same week. So I, I just don't know. But yeah, so after the pharmacy school, once you get your um, decision letter, you can get different things. Now these are going to be the possible things, not to say that these are what I got, but I'm, I'm not going to disclose what I got until later. Um, so the first one is obviously the acceptance. You're hooray, no more stress, you don't have to worry about anything except for finishing your classes if you have not completed a BA or whatever. And um, yeah, just preparing yourself, just getting yourself mentally ready for pharmacy school. So, um, yeah, acceptance. And what that comes with is what? A fee. Obviously, you have to pay a fee. Some schools range from about $300 to about $900 to hold your place. And usually, they give you like a certain time slot where you have to pay the money so that they can hold your spot because they know, okay, this student is coming to this school. Um, what I was going to say. Oh, yeah. So, yeah, just make sure you do that in a timely fashion. And please, please, please make sure you check the form of payment. Some people may not take what you are thinking in your mind. Just check. Call if you have questions. You know, if you have any other follow-up questions after the interview, you know, you can always do that. So, yeah, the acceptance. The next one is obviously acceptance, but you're either placed on an alternate list or waiting list. Some schools vary in how they say it. So basically, you can be placed on an alternate list it, um, if you if they want to accept you, but you still have one or two classes or whatever left. Or you can be placed as accepted, but placed on a waiting list. Um, now, I know this might sound like a bummer to some people, but it's still saying that they are still interested in you, but they don't they don't necessarily have the space or for whatever reason the school decides. Now that's not saying that on the alternate or the wait list that you may not get into that school. You never know. Some people can apply to schools and it may not be the first choice and they decide last minute, okay, let me drop out. I'm trying to stick to my iPad. So if I'm looking down, um, just excuse that. So yeah, so you may still have a possibility to get into that school if you really, 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 really want to get into that school. Um, so it's the acceptance, the alternate or the wait list, or you can get the um, um, rejection. Obviously the rejection, nobody wants that, but it's the reality. I mean, not every pharmacy school that you apply to, you will get in. And um, that's just the reality of it. For whatever reason, they just rejected you. They didn't feel like you were a strong enough student or um, their, their class was already full or you know, just, they just recommend that you take a few more classes maybe, you know, for the upcoming year or up next semester so you can, bet, you know, make yourself more of a stronger candidate. 
Um, but there's many different reasons why pharmacy school rejects students. I don't know why, but you know, I, I mean, personally, I don't know, but you know, I'm just guessing. So yeah, those are um, the aftermaths for after the pharmacy school. So if you guys are just wondering, like, oh my gosh, like, how come I haven't heard back? Or you know, I'm just, you know, I'm really, really nervous. Like, I hope I get into the school I want to. Just you know, relax. I did a lot of praying, to be honest, throughout this whole process, because I mean, there's nobody in my family that's a pharmacist, and I pretty much did everything not on my own but with God's strength but you know he pretty much got me it's not been an easy road but you know it's very rewarding once you find out what you want to hear and you know you just get a blessing of starting for something else so yeah that is pretty much it and um, yeah as always if you guys have any other questions please leave them down below and um, if you have any questions or emails or anything, just check the links. I'll have the playlist for all the videos. And um, as the questions come, as people want me to do them, then I'll continue to do them. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching. And